So I'm just going to demonstrate a respiratory assessment of a patient that's been admitted um, from a and &E last night um, due to an exacerbation of their COPD. So I'm just going to show um, uh, the first initial respiratory assessment. Um, so first of all, at a kind of distance, I would observe the patient and look at the kind of colour of them and um, have a look at their chest expansion um, and have a look at that and see kind of to give me an idea of their respiratory rate. Um, before that as well, I would also look at the patient's notes to get an idea of their past medical history um, and have an idea of kind of their social history as well and um, to see how independent they were before they've been admitted. So once I've done all that, I'm going to go get an OBS machine um, and me me measure the patient's um, oxygen saturations. Um, for a patient with COPD exacerbation, we would expect this to be between 88 to 92 percent. So first of all, um, I'm just going to have a little bit of a chat to you about why you've been admitted and get a bit of a history from you. Um, so you've been a bit short, um, short of breath recently. Mm -hmm. well, how long has that been for? Um, a few days now. A few days. And were you coughing up any um, sputum? Yes, I have. And how much is it? Uh, about a teaspoon of paracetamol. What kind of colour is it? Um, it's green. Green. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and are you managing to cough on the clear independently? I am. So I'm just going to have a quick feel of your chest now um, and mm -hmm. have a look at that. So if you just breathe normally for me. Okay, so I'm just going to have a quick feel of your pulse. Okay, and can you have a cough for me? <coughs> Gonna have a quick listen to your chest. So if you just breathe naturally for me. Okay, that's all right. Thank you.